Welcome. In this program, we intend to uh, divide the word or explain the word, the word of God, in context so that we can understand it better. As the Bible says, we intend to divide the word rightly so that you can understand, we can understand the message. And uh, this program today is the first in a series of programs that we intend to do uh, to explain and bring it to you the mysteries of the word of God and the, uh, the hidden things of the word of God, hidden mysteries of the word of God, so that there will be an interest in you to read the word, not only to read, but to understand and apply it in your life. So, in the first program, what better way to start it than talking about the word of God itself, the word, the word of God. Now, when we try to explain the word of God and rightly divide the word, we cannot uh, ignore the principles that, are the, that the Bible has given us in the word, uh, about the word of God. Now, John, the d disciple of God, Jesus, when he wrote the gospel, the life story of Jesus, in his gospel, John's gospel, chapter 1 verse 1, he introduces Jesus as the word of God. It goes like this, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Now, the word there for word <laughs> is logos, the Greek word. We all know, I think you must be knowing by this time that the, the Bible was written in two languages, the Old Testament in Hebrew and the New Testament was written mostly in Greek. So John, when he wrote this Bible, the, 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 the gospel of John, he used the word logos and it was translated as word in English. So what is logos? What is the meaning of Logos? The Logos is, the meaning of Logos is a, a word spoken by a living being. And also it means a message, a, a doctrine, a teaching. So John says, in the beginning, that means when the world was created, in the beginning, even before that, even the heavens were created, in the very beginning, was the word and the word was with God and they he, and he goes on to say that the word was God and in, later on in that chapter he says word became flesh and dwelt among us that means Jesus so he says Jesus was the word and he was there in the beginning from the beginning he existed so the word is so important for us because it represents Jesus. And that's the very reason that we need to be very careful by when we go to interpret or to uh, divide the word as it was. So that we will do that in context and without losing the message or even without giving the wrong message, we need to interpret it in context, in context of the scriptures, because the scripture, the whole scripture was given for the edification and for reproof. So, what we are trying to do now is to understand how the word came into existence, the word of God came into existence. What is the word of God? Why we call the Bible the word of God? Very simply, it's a, it's a very vast subject, but very simply, the Bible came into existence in 300 AD. What I mean is the canon as a collection of books. But the first book of this Bible that we use as Christians, the first five books of this Bible was written by Moses. And he wrote this according to the uh, history. 1,500 years before Christ. That means around 3,500 years before 
to this day. Now, the first five books of the Bible contains the Torah that is believed even today by the Jews, the Judaism. And uh, from there, from that time onwards, the prophets who lived in different eras and other people wrote scriptures as inspired by the Holy Spirit. And these books were kept separately. But as a collection, as the technology developed and the printing uh, uh, technology developed, today we have this Bible in our hand as a collection of books written by olden day prophets and after Jesus, mostly by his disciples, the life of Jesus and also the message of Jesus and also about the end of the age, the future events. And all this is a collection of books and that collection came into existence in 325-30 AD. So, now that collection was done with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit so that nothing contradicts. But sometimes we find places where it seems something is contradictory but it is not. Because when the Holy Spirit put together a collection of the scriptures, it does not contradict to one another. So we need to understand the context, we need to understand the background, we need to understand the culture in order to understand the message. So that is what we are, we intend to do during this program, the series of programs that we are planning to do. What is the word of God? As it says in John Logos, a word spoken by a living being. So in this case, God. And God spoke and inspired by the Holy Spirit, men of God wrote it down. And that is why we, know, we must know the message that was given by God to us. So this is the first in the programs where we intend to, uh, uh, to explain the word of God into, so that you will understand uh, the context, you will understand the message of uh, God and what he is trying to tell us through this, through his word. And there is one message that you cannot uh, uh, deny or you cannot escape right through us from the first book of this Bible, the Genesis. And through the Bible to the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation, one topic that you cannot escape is the love. The message love, the love of God. You cannot escape that from the beginning even to the end. So God is love and he is lovingly, he has given us his word so that we will not be cast out or we will not be uh, uh, destroyed. So my dear friends, I invite you, I encourage you to read the Bible read the word of God and also join with us in this series as we try to explore the word of God in context, trying to understand the message, what God is telling us. So until we see you in the next program, God bless you.